Well, after 322 days of space walking and moon walking, Indian origin astronaut Sunita Williams exclusively shares her experiences here on Headlines today. She joins us live from the NASA headquarters in the United States. She's a record-breaking astronaut. She's been in space for 127 days. She's finished her mandatory quarantine period and now she's back to work and hopefully back in space as well. Sunita, welcome to India Reports. Thanks for speaking to us. You've spent 127 days in space. Tell us about your best experience this time round. Oh, that's hard to answer, but and good morning or good evening. It's uh, great to be with you today. Um, that's a tough question. You know, uh, every part of every space, uh, space time, time that I've had in space has been just wonderful. Um, this last, uh, this last uh, time up in space was a little bit shorter than my first flight, but it was action-packed. Um, I think uh, the spacewalks were probably the highlight, uh, just because we solved a, a big problem out there. So probably that was the, the highlight, and actually the view from the spacewalks is really awesome, really special. So you everyone who watches you, students, I'm sure some of the people who are watching right now are hugely envious of you and said wonder, how can they get the chance to be the next Anita Williams? How does it really get a chance to do spacewalks as well? Is that at all possible for the likes of us? Yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that a lot of people from all over the world uh, watch what we're doing on the International Space Station and are encouraged and want to get involved with what we're doing and want to be uh, the next uh, guy who's up on the space station and the, the next spacewalker. Um, I, as much as possible, I would say, you know, math and science are the, the core uh, of what we do and what we're doing up there with all the experiments and the laboratories that we have up there. Uh, so that's the first thing. And then, you know, do, do the best at what you can do what you're going to do as a profession and apply to be an astronaut um, we're yeah. looking for the future the next generation of explorers and so uh, we're wanting the next group to come in and, and join us well I can tell you Sunita there are hundreds of thousands of people in India who would love to be in the place that you are right now but they say that you know when people go to space Sunita it's always a philosophical experience can you say that your several journeys into space have changed you as a human being or in any other way uh, interesting question. Um, I think when you you can't help but uh, when you're up in space, look back at the planet and look at what where we all are living and what a beautiful place it is. And I think I've said it before. You have a hard time even thinking about anybody being mad at each other because planet is such a pretty place. We are so privileged to be living here, uh, particularly when you look out into space and, uh, and see not seeing any other hospital places in the in our near vicinity. Uh, you know, um, so. It, you know that we are very lucky, we're very pr privileged to be living on this beautiful blue planet with uh, water and clouds and mountains mm -hmm. uh, and skies and rivers. You know, it's, it's just a great place. So I think, of course, it's changed me. And if, and, um, if I could relay that to people as much as possible uh, about just uh, enjoying the life that we have here, I think that's the key. All right, Dasanita, thank you very much for joining us here on India Reports.